Welcome to another episode of Here to Slay, my Slayer only Iron Man. On this account, I can only kill things if I've been assigned the corresponding Slayer task for them. I can buy ammo, runes, and food from shops, but no weapons or armor. All of my money and gear upgrades must come from the Slayer drops, and any of my non-combat skills can only be trained from the supplies that Slayer monsters drop for me, or from any XP lamps that I somehow manage to get my hands on. To make things more interesting and to prevent too much content from being locked from the account, I've allowed myself to do quests, but my total quest points must never pass my Slayer level. Despite having all these restrictions on my skills and my gear upgrades, I have my mind set on one goal. I want to kill the monster with the highest Slayer level requirement in the entire game. I want to kill the Alchemical Hydra. After the last episode, I had gotten another Tazar city task. Instead of killing Jad again, I chose to kill the civilians to have a slight chance at getting that obsidian armor. Oh. That's sad. After seeing a couple of the wrong green text items on the ground and the disappointment that followed, I went to go grab my next task. Since I had just completed the Lost City quest at the end of the last episode as well, I was now able to be assigned mutated Ziggomites. Killing the ancient variant of these guys on Fossil Island will give me the chance to get a few valuable resources, the most important one being Volcanic Ash, which will allow me to finally acquire some super compost. There's some very weird drops that these guys can drop, or the ones on Fossil Island can drop, and uh, hopefully I get the things that I'm hoping for. Hopefully I get the things I'm hoping for. That's that's a great line. That's, you, you guys feel free to quote me on that. I unlocked the automatic Shroom Slayer perk from the Slayer store and set out to try my luck on this new Slayer monster. All right, well, there you go. That's one of the things that I wanted. I don't know if I can do anything with the Numalite because I can't buy stuff from uh, NPCs, even if I use it, so... I don't know if the Numalite's going to be useful for anything at all, but the Mortmire Fungus is definitely going to have some usefulness for me. Alright, that is another task completed. And, oh boy, is the loot nice. Look at what I got. 35 Mortmire Fungus. That is going to be 35 Super Energy Potions in the future. Also got Mushroom Spores. I didn't think I was going to be able to get these things. I forgot that the uh, monsters on Fossil Island can drop the spores as well. So I can plant those spores underwater, get some giant seaweed, and then... Uh... Yeah, I realize now that mushroom spores don't exactly grow seaweed. Anyways, didn't get any volcanic ash. I'm pretty sure they can drop volcanic ash, so I'm sad that I didn't get any of that. But all of these uh, Mortmire fungus mushrooms are going to be very nice for uh, herb lore in the future. After doing a quick little Anku task, I went back to Neve and finally got the first Lizardmen task. The big unlock that these guys could provide for the account is the Xerix Talisman. Using Lizardman Teeth to charge this talisman will allow me to teleport to many areas around Zaya. And since the only teleports that I have access to in this entire continent are the Koran Castle teleport and then the two fairy rings that I've been using, the Xerix Talisman will be a huge help for the future. Although I didn't manage to get one this task, hopefully I'll be assigned Lizardman more often from now on so I can get that talisman sometime in the near future. Just completed a Fossil Island Wyvern task and uh, did not manage to get any Volcanic Ash again. But got a decent amount of Prayer Potions and 10 Snape Grass. So that's like another 10 3 dose Prayer Potions that I can make as soon as I get back to the bank. Okay, so I got a hard clue step that needs me to go through this whole Ogre City area. I haven't done this yet, so I had to kind of complete half of the Watchtower quest. I think that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm doing the Watchtower quest right now. And I, I have a bad feeling about this step in a second here. All right, I just got to pay this guy 20 gold. Please don't give me agility XP. Please. No. Okay. I got agility XP from hopping over that. So that means I won't be able to hop over that thing ever again for doing this clue. All right. This clue step's been completed. Unfortunately, I'll never be allowed to do this step ever again. And it's all for nothing. Sad stuff. Ooh, that is a fancy item right there. Giving me unlimited fire and earth runes is uh, not really that useful, but it's cool anyways. Although I might be still pretty far away from getting 58 herb lore in order to use that herb sack. I found a little trick I can use to save inventory space by bringing some vials of water and ashes with me in my inventory. If I get a Terramin drop, I can use those on the vials of water and then just create some Serum 207, drop it on the ground, and that will free up a couple inventory slots. Then if I bring some hot cups of water, each cup of water can hold two Guam leaves, one Marantil, and one Hairlander. 
Although I don't end up using the Herolanders on them because I'd rather save those for compost potions or restore potions for the future. And as you can see here, my cups of hot water are holding a total of six Guams and four Marantils. Which if you add in the two tournaments that I used to craft serum and then dropped on the ground earlier is a total of eight inventory spaces saved. Nothing too special from this task, just lots of herbs, lots of seeds, but that is the entire point of doing an Aberrant Spectre task. I then did a few more tasks, and without much to mention other than the few XP lamps that I put into fishing, I kind of felt like switching things up a little bit. Okay, I know it's not time for Konar, really, because you know it's not like my 10th task yet, but uh, I don't know. I think maybe just for a little bit, I'm just going to be using Konar for every task because... I keep looking at my crafting level and I really want to be able to make uh, the Dragonstone rings so I can make a ring of wealth. Most of my crafting XP comes from the gems that I get from the Brimstone chest and from the uh, Laren's chest in the Deep Wilderness. So I think what I want to do is get that crafting level up. I want to get some rings of wealth already. It's been a while. I, have, I don't have a single ring of wealth so I'm going to try and make some of those guys. Anyways, going to be using Konar. I want more brimstone keys, I want more uncut gems, I want more crafting XP. Let's go. <gasps> right, okay, so there's gonna be <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of canceling. I do have a nice sum of points saved up, so 67 Oh right, I extended the Fossil Island Wyvern tasks. I forgot about that. Now if I don't get volcanic ash from these guys again, then I'm gonna start sacrificing my cats to like the RNG gods or something. What the hell's going on? I can't why is it not letting me attack this guy? I have auto retaliate Oh! Oh my task is over! Oh, so like 15 or so of these kills uh, was actually from like the previous time that I got a false island wyvern task. So it was only like 60 something of them, 65 of them in total, something like that, maybe 64. Uh, either way, I got a couple unstrung adamant crossbows, but just like the unstrung um, rune crossbow that I got, that I got right there. I don't have the fletching level, so the unstrung adamant crossbows are just gonna sit in my bank and look pretty. Got some more prayer potions. Always nice to see more prayer potions come in, as well as 14 snape grass. I know it says 24, but I only got 14 from this, but uh, yeah. So 14 snape grass, that means that's another 14 prayer potions. But anyways, the big score from this task, 57 volcanic ash. That means that would be 171 compost potion doses. And then since I'll be using these on the compost bin, Let's multiply that by 15 for how many compost buckets I can get from each bin. That is 2,565 super compost. That is amazing for farming. Over 2,000 super compost coming in from just a couple spitting wyverns. And there we go. That is a whole lot of compost potions. It's going to last me so long. It's going to give me so much super compost. Oh, it's so nice, man. That is so nice. Let's go do a farming run. There it is. And now if I take from compost, super compost. So from now on, all compost that comes out of these compost bins is all gonna be super compost. This is gonna help so much. Just harvesting some more good old potatoes. Tomate potatoes, what I mean tomatoes. Anyways, I'm gonna be using these guys to pay for some more oak trees in a little bit. I still have not harvested those oak trees I planted a little while ago, so I am still waiting to get those awesome XP drops. But anyways, at 41 farming now, and uh, I'll get back to you guys when I get to the oak trees. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off with the first tree. And from each tree, I'm gonna get 460. <laughs> I thought it was like at least a thousand. Oh, well, that's not that much. Ah, uh, well, it's a little less exciting now, isn't it? I totally missed, well, I missed a hit points level and I missed a slayer level. Ah, uh, good job. Anyways, Slayer level is now at level 80. I can get Necreal tasks, which means Rune Boots. Alrighty, 200 tasks in a row. 
Got 450 points from that for a total of just under 2,000 points. What am I going to use these Slayer points for? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just spend them on ammunition in the future. Like once I get that rune crossbow, I could buy a bunch of broad bolts would be a pretty good use for the points. Anyways, uh, I'm going to take a little break from Slayer right now. And uh, I'm going to go to my bank and use some of the stuff that I've uh, been saving up through all these Gonar tasks. As I'm sure you may have noticed in some random clips involving me opening my bank. I've got a few hard caskets saved up and I've got 28 brimstone keys to use. This is going to be like a little celebration for me getting 200 tasks in a row. Although I've done way more, way more Slayer tasks than that. I might have done close to 300 in total since I ruined my streak so many times in the beginning. And I have a 50 something wilderness Slayer streak right now, but why is there a nature tiara on my screen right now? Basically the things that I want from the hard clues. It's really just blessed dehyde pieces like the head, the body, the legs, the gloves, the boots, all that stuff. If I could get the god dehyde variants would be really, really helpful for killing the alchemical hydra in the future. Of course, right now I don't even have black dehyde pants or van braces, so those would be really nice to get first, I guess. But uh, yeah, just basically range gear upgrades are what I'm trying to get from the hard clues here. I can't really get anything for mage or for melee really from clues so pretty much just hoping for more range gear upgrades i then opened up the first one and was met by a duplicate of the only trimmed god piece of armor that i have on this account but not only that i also got the black dehyde chaps although getting another guthix chain skirt was a bit unfortunate getting a new best in slot range gear item was well worth it I then opened up the rest of the caskets, got another pair of black dehyde chaps, and two more magic short bows. The rest were just decent alchemicals, so got a decent amount of money from these caskets too. After casting high alchemy on most of the stuff that I got from those caskets, and ending up with about 230,000 gold from it, I then moved on to the brimstone chest. As you'd probably expect, I got a lot of skilling supplies, a lot of money, and a lot of things that I'll probably never be able to use. Alright, so these are the goods all nice and organized now. Got a nice amount of crafting XP right there. Got a lot of smithing XP for the future. Then got some cooking XP in the far future, some farming XP in the very far future as well, and a whole lot of stuff that will probably never get used. Oh, well, the Mystic Robe bottoms are probably going to get used. I mean, I'll probably be using those things instead of the other ones, but, uh, but yeah, these items here are probably never going to get used. I'm also just going to high elk some of the random loot that I've got saved up in my bank that's worth a decent amount, just to see how much I can get the cash stack up to. Yeah, 4 million cash stack, and I'm still using Bronze Era. <laughs> All right, that is going to be it for this episode. Finally reached 200 tasks in a row, got my Slayer level up to 80, and I have accumulated 2,000 Slayer points now. The goal for next episode is to try and get those Rings of Wealth that I was talking about. And to go back and try my luck with Turiel once again to see how long it will take to get my fletching level up to where I need it to be in order to make that rune crossbow. As always, thanks for watching and uh, bye.